As Hurricane Laura made its way through northeast Louisiana, it impacted many communities and neighborhoods. Fox 14's Maya Hudgens talked with residents in the area about how Laura impacted their re and their reaction from the storm. We start our team coverage tonight with Maya giving us a look at the Lakeshore subdivision. Hurricane Laura left treelands down in almost every single yard on Lakeshore Drive, and in some cases across the road and on top of houses. These residents say they're thankful no one was injured. Hurricane Laura hit northeast Louisiana Thursday morning, leaving many Monroe residents shocked by the outcome of the storm. Just kept building and building, and for a while there I thought it was over, but it, that was actually the beginning of it, and then it got... It got worse. We started losing trees. For one local, the worries ran high, and the aftermath was emotional. My grandchildren are playing, you know, were playing. This is their play area where they are. Play it. And I come here, and the trees all crash down. Oh, there's stuff. I'm very emotional. Huh? The Lakeshore subdivision in Monroe experienced a lot of downed trees across streets, yards, houses, power lines, and even around Lakeshore Elementary School. Residents say they will never forget the fast winds that blew through the community. You could hear the wind snapping the trees off as it came. So uh, we lost a couple trees at our at our house, but uh, and my shed got smashed. Though Laura left a mess to clean up, these neighbors are leaning on each other and say they'll help in any way possible. The neighbors are already coming out with some chainsaws. They're already working sooner than I thought. So that's what Louisiana people do. Oh. Help each other. Residents in the Lakeshore Drive area say they currently don't have power, but crews were on the scene after the storm cutting up the trees that had fallen across the road. In Monroe, I'm Maya Hudgens.